So starting my traditional walk up the hill, leaving the American school and my flat behind. And it's a lovely day and the birds are singing for me. This is the steep bit, so I shall start panting in a minute. Oh, it's very nice. Sunshine. And the path is starting to dry out, so hopefully uh, it won't be as muddy. But the trees look really dead. Still, the start of spring. This time next week, and certainly this time next month, it'll look different. Lovely day. Look at that. So this is the top of the hill. I'm approaching now what you could probably call the rooftop of Vienna. There's a little guest house here, which of course is closed because of COVID. Often go there. And you can see down into Vienna, down into the center. The big tall cluster of buildings is actually the other side of the center. The big black object there is the Allgemeine Krankenhaus General Hospital. And on a good day, you can see as far as uh, Slovakia, which I guess is uh, 60 kilometers to the east. It's a lovely day, but I'm afraid it's a little bit steamy. Hope it clears later. So visibility a little, li a little uh, limited. But I uh, haven't seen anybody so far. I've seen a little bird. He's hiding in this tree somewhere. I think he's curious about me. Have I got any bread for him? Where's he gone to? He keeps hopping around, but too fast for me to take a picture. Where's he gone? Naughty little rascal. Oh, there he is. Can you see him? There he is. Drying out now after the snow and wet weather of last week. Sun. And it's a lovely walk through the woods. And I've got the woods more or less all to myself. Hardly seeing anybody at all. And listen to the birds tweet. walking down by a little stream before I turn back into the woods uh, and these uh, what looks like two houses here at the end in fact is one house um, they were Bauernhäuser peasants cottages so to speak with a very big floor area I think it's in the hundreds of square meters it was on the market for 700,000 um, three or four years ago I considered trying to buy it, unfortunately never did. You can see somebody has t done a very good job of converting it. Brilliant windows in the uh, roof to uh, collect the sunlight, warm the house. What a pity I didn't get it. They've done a very nice job of that. very rural around here isn't it? Bucolic almost although I can't see any cows and um, yes I think I may have mentioned before this staircase was built because the track previously just got obliterated in wet weather and was very difficult to get up and down so now we have steps and some winter flower here not sure what it is very pretty aren't they? Have a look at this. Wouldn't you like to live here? I'm up on Robin's balcony and all I'm seeing are fields and hills covered in forests and it's quiet and it's almost like living on a, living on a farm. How about that, Helen? Say hello to Tanya. Hello, Wave. Tanya. Hello. So going into the kitchen now, which is missing a stove. It's the pantry, presumably. So this is where your head is going to come, is it? Yes. Yeah. 
plenty of space, lovely view, not so nice neighbours, but you don't have to have anything to do with them, and a lovely big living room. I wish cornerways looked like this. So spring's coming to Austria. This is the first fine day. Robin's making a telephone call and I'm walking through the woods, woods with Julia. You can you hear the birds in the background? We just had uh, deer racing across in front of us on the path. This is the first fine day. Morgan. Garden Siedlung, Garden Settlement. Over there's a cemetery, thank goodness you can't see it. Also the house where I used to live, Michelberg. And we're going now up into the uh, Weingarten. All of these signs here have the name of the Bauer or a Vintner that uh, owns it. So this is Fuhrgassel Huber and there's a Horiga down the road and underneath that the name of the uh, wine type. That's Neuberger, Neuburger. This is also Fuhrgassel Huber and these are his Chardonnay grapes. There's probably a lot of work to do in the vineyards now because spring's coming and growth is starting so I suppose there's a lot of tidying up, cutting, I don't know what to do. You can hear the tractor in the background. So this is Neustift down there, centre of my Viennese life for a long time, decades in fact. And an awful lot of this uh, of these uh, buildings, uh, 20 years ago you wouldn't have seen them. Unfortunately it's getting very overdeveloped up here. I think people should stay away. So here's Vorgasluhuber Zweigelt. Here's Vorgasluhuber uh, Gemischte Satz. Let's see what else there is. Um, Oh, there's a pest soiler here somewhere. I think it's down on the next path. Pity I would like to have taken a picture of that. How to behave, how to behave in the vineyard. So, message specifically directed, I think, at the blinking people who smoke and then throw their filthy cigarettes down. You might have noticed that I'm rather anti-smoking. It's a thing that's rather difficult to be anti at the, uh, in the present day. Not many people do smoke anymore. Communications tower on the horizon is also a good area for walking. I go occasionally there. The nice thing about it was after you've done your walk through the lonely woods and tracks and fields, um, there's a little cafe at the end which is almost unapproachable by normal traffic. Sit down, have your coffee and cake. But of course they're all closed now. The other cluster of big buildings over there is the United Nations Center and uh, international organizations from which uh, Austria gets a pretty good uh, income stream I would think. High salaries, good jobs, Lots of people doing not very much at all. 
which I'm afraid is uh, as you would expect it from the United Nations and I know lots of these people particularly the English contingent and that's it they don't do much at all. Fugaslhuber Rösler grape